Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for September 9th, read by Kurt L. from Albuquerque, New Mexico. AA Thoughts for the Day. Delusion. We learned that we had to fully concede to our innermost selves that we were alcoholics. This is the first step in recovery. The delusion that we were like other people, or presently maybe, has to be smashed. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 17. Thought to consider. There is no such thing as being a little bit alcoholic. Acronyms. Denial. Don't even notice I am lying. Just for today. Condemn. Tradition 3. The only requirement for AA membership is a desire to stop drinking. Why did AA finally drop all its membership regulations? Why did we leave it to each newcomer to decide himself whether he was an alcoholic or whether he should join us? Why did we dare say, contrary to the experience of society and government everywhere, that we would neither punish nor deprive any AA of membership, believe anything or conform to anything. The answer now seen in Tradition 3 was simplicity itself. At last, experience taught us that to take away any alcoholic's full chance was sometimes to pronounce his death sentence, and often to condemn him to endless misery. Who dared to be judge, jury, and executioner with his own sick brother? Twelve Steps and Twelve Traditions, page 141. Daily Reflections, Opening New Doors, They, the Promises, are being fulfilled among us, sometimes quickly, sometimes slowly. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 84. The promises talked about in this passage are slowly coming to life for me. What has given me hope is putting step nine into action. The step has allowed me to see and set goals for myself in recovery. Old habits and behaviors die hard. Working step nine enables me to close the door on the drunk I was and to open new avenues for myself as a sober alcoholic. Making direct amends is crucial for me. As I repair relationships and behavior of the past, I am better able to live a sober life. Although I have some years of sobriety, there are times when the old stuff from the past needs to be taken care of, and step nine always works when I work it. As Bill sees it, alone no more. Alcoholism was a lonely business, even though we were surrounded by people who loved us. But when our self-will had driven everybody away and our isolation became complete, we commenced to play the big shot in cheap bar rooms. Failing even in this, we had to fare forth alone on the street to depend upon the charity of passers-by. We were trying to find emotional security either by dominating or by being dependent upon others. Even when our fortunes had not totally ebbed, we nevertheless found ourselves alone in the world. We still vainly tried to be secure by some unhealthy sort of domination or dependence. For those of us who were like that, AA has a very special meaning. In this fellowship, we begin to learn right relations with people who understand us. We don't have to be alone anymore. 12 and 12, pages 116, 117. Big book quote. Life will take on new meaning. To watch people recover. To see them help others. To watch loneliness vanish. To see a fellowship grow up about you. To have a host of friends. This is an experience you must not miss. Alcoholics Anonymous, 4th edition. Working with others. Page 89. 24 hours a day, a a thought for the day. When alcoholics are offered a life of sobriety by following the AA program, they will look at the prospect of living without alcohol and they will ask, am I to be consigned to a life where I shall be stupid, boring, and glum? Like some of the righteous people I see? I know I must get along without liquor, but how can I? Have you a sufficient substitute? Have I found a more than sufficient substitute for drinking? Meditation for the day. In God's strength, you conquer life. 
Your conquering power is the grace of God. There can be no complete failure with God. Do you want to make the best of life? Then live as near as possible to God, the master and the giver of all life. Your reward for depending on God's strength will be sure. Sometimes the reward will be renewed power to face life. Sometimes wrong thinking overcome. Sometimes people brought to a new way of living. Whatever success comes will not be all your own doing, but largely the working out of the grace of God. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may try to rely more fully on the grace of God. I pray that I may live a victorious life. Hazelton Foundation, P.O. Box 176, Center City, Minnesota, 55012. My name is Kurt, and I'm an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc., 1952, 1957, 1967, 1973, 1975, 1976, 1980, 1981, 1984, 1985, 1988, 1990, or 2001.